Okay guys, so fashion is constantly changing, especially with the seasons, and this leaves us with a lot of fashion questions. You know, like, what items should I be in investing in? Should I be following these trends? How much should I be spending, etc. So instead of following these crazy trends and looks that might go out of style by next year, you should first consider building what's called a timeless capsule wardrobe. So this is having essential items in your closet all year round. So these items will last you a long time and they aren't meant to frustrate you or stress you out when you go to find something to wear. So once you have a collection of these essential items, then you can start adding in those trendy pieces here or there just to create your own personal style. So if you know nothing about style and how to put outfits together, I did make a video showing you how I create looks and outfits by using Pinterest. Um, if you haven't seen the video, I will put the link down below for you, but Pinterest is a great tool for style inspiration and I highly recommend checking out the video because the tips really helped me step up my fashion game. Also, just as a side note, if you do want to know how to get these crazy tight um, chopstick style curls, I did make a recent tutorial and I will put that video link down below as well. But first and foremost, if you do want to learn how to build a classic wardrobe and find out the closet essentials that I believe every woman should own, please keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about closet essentials. So I'm going to be suggesting a list of clothing items that I believe every woman should own. I'm going to explain how these um, items are going to benefit your closet, how you can style them, and how much you should be spending on each of these items. Now before we get into the video, if you haven't already done so, please hit that red subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon, that way you get notified on any future videos. So the first item on my list is denim. Now jeans are an absolute closet staple and that is because they can be pretty much worn to every occasion and they can be dressed up or dressed down. Now I would say invest in a few quality pairs, but I don't actually believe you need to break the bank when it comes to buying jeans. So for example, I find sometimes my $30 jeans from say Fashion Nova tend to fit me better and sometimes I tend to gravitate towards them more often and grab them more often than say my designer jeans that cost upward of $100. No matter what the price tag is, if you find that perfect pair of jeans that fits your body perfectly, then buy them. And I would highly recommend picking them up in a variety of washes. So that would include a light wash, a medium wash, a dark wash, and a black jean. Now, the dark wash is an absolute must because I find that is the most versatile when it comes to dressing them up or down. Now, when it comes to the actual style of the jean, I would suggest staying away from the ripped, distressed, or boyfriend style jeans because those are more of the trendy pieces which you can play with down the road. But your basic set of core styles are your slim fit straight leg, skinny, bootleg, and cropped. So the next essential item you must have in your closet is a structured blazer. I would stay away from the patterned style, the boyfriend style, or the cape style blazers because again, those are more of the trendier pieces. Stick to your classic structured blazer and I highly recommend picking up a black, a white, or a beige or a tan blazer. So the great thing about blazers is that they can pretty much be layered with any kind of top or bottom. So a basic tee, a blouse, or a concert tee would look great underneath a blazer. You can also dress up a blazer with a pair of trousers or dress it down with a pair of jeans. Now, I believe blazers are an investment and should be of good quality. So, for example, I have this BCBG Max Azria Basic Black Blazer. I believe I paid $150 for it and I have owned it for over 10 years. Yes, it has a hefty price tag, but it is of good quality. It's lasted me over the years and it will probably last me another 10 years. Next on the list for must-have items is basic tees and tanks and lots of them. The reason you want to flood your closet with them is because they can pretty much be worn with anything every day of the week. So you can pair a basic tee with a denim, a skirt, underneath a blazer, or even dress down with leggings, but no matter how you style them, a basic tee is an absolute must. So pick one up in every one of your favorite colors, get short sleeve, long sleeve, v-neck, etc. Now, t-shirts don't actually need to break the bank. These are very inexpensive items, and oftentimes you can go to fashion stores like H&M, and sometimes they have deals where you can get two tees for $10. So go crazy with the t-shirts. Next on the list is the iconic LBD, which is the little black dress. A little black dress is an absolute wardrobe must-have. A simple black dress is very classy and elegant. It doesn't need to be shimmery or pricey, but it should fit you perfectly and match your body shape. 
So this is a practical item that can be dressed up or dressed down. It can be worn to the office or even out on date night. Also, the little black dress will be your saving grace because every woman knows the struggle of finding the perfect dress at the last minute and a perfect LBD can change all that. Number five on the list for essential must-have items is seamless undergarments. Every woman should own seamless bras and underwear because they will stay hidden under whatever you are wearing. And a good basic layer is important for making your outfit look neat and polished. Lacy bumps and lumps and VPLs are an outfit's foe. You want your outfit to look absolutely seamless. So I highly recommend picking up black or skin color bras and underwear and only at least five pairs. Next essential item for your closet is a basic blouse. Now just like basic tees, you do want to pick up a variety of these and different colors, but make sure you do have your staple colors like white, black, gray, or camel. So a blouse is a great piece that can be styled for both work or happy hour. They look great styled with a denim or trousers and underneath a blazer. So there are affordable options for blouses at stores like Le Chateau or H&M, but if you are wanting to splurge and have more of a good quality piece, then opt for a silk blouse. Now, whether vegan or real, a classic black leather jacket is an absolute must-have for your wardrobe. Now, this is an investment piece and will probably cost you a pretty penny, but it will last you for decades. And it is a staple item that can be dressed down with a tee and jeans or dressed up for an edgy look and night out on the town. So now that we've covered your essential clothing items, let's discuss accessories. So your first essential accessory is a classic tote bag. Now a tote bag can carry you from work to play. Now a purse is an everyday item that gets a lot of wear and tear, so make this a solid investment and get a good quality bag that won't break down after a couple months. It should last you a few years. So treat yourself to a Michael Kors or a Kate Spade. Now make sure your tote is large enough to fit a laptop or your work folders and have pouches for your small everyday essentials. Next accessory must have is some basic jewelry. So you want to make sure you have a classic simple stud as well as your classic simple silver or gold hoops. Now these are basic jewelry items that will go with every outfit and they don't have to be real diamonds or real gold, that is a personal preference. Another great accessory that every woman should own is a classic pair of sunglasses. Now, how many of you are like me and you have a ton of sunglasses but you always seem to reach and gravitate towards that same pair every time? A simple classic pair of sunglasses goes with any outfit. Stick to classic styles and shapes. Um, also make this an investment piece. So splurge on a pair that you are likely to wear every day. So for example, these are my Roberto Cavalli sunglasses. They did cost quite a bit, but they have lasted me for years and they go with every outfit. Now, if you do want to experiment more with the trendier style sunglasses, what I would suggest is go to a fashion store and pick up a few cheap pairs. That way you won't feel so bad if they do go out of style or end up getting lost in the pile with all the other ones. Last but not least, closet essential that every woman should own is a classic pair of black ballet flats as well as a killer pair of black heels. Both of these shoes can be paired with jeans to a little black dress. They can be worn to work or out on weekends, and they are going to carry you through the seasons because they never go out of style. For these, I would say definitely make a quality investment because these are two pairs of shoes that are gonna get the most use out of all your shoes that you own, so spend the money to make sure that they are durable and comfortable. Okay guys, that's it for my list of closet essentials. All the pieces that I mentioned should serve as an excellent primer for building a staple wardrobe. It should also make day-to-day -day dressing infinitely easier, but also feel free to tailor this suggested list to your own personal needs. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out that Pinterest video that I mentioned earlier. Also, I do have some fashion haul videos and some videos showing off my massive shoe collection. So if that's something that interests you, I will put those video links down below. And if you do want to see any of my beauty or my fashion looks, make sure you follow me on Instagram at The Pretty Witch, and I will see you guys next time.